There is no doubt in saying that a lot of Star Wars fans have had issues with Kathleen Kennedy's leadership over at Lucasfilm and running everything Star Wars related from, of course, The Force Awakens to The Last Jedi and now even The Rise of Skywalker and more. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Star Wars in general is that we do know that a lot of changes are being made over at Lucasfilm, all thanks to the new Disney CEO, Bob Chapek, and how a lot of this hell has to do with Chapek pretty much carrying out some of the plans by Bob Iger before he stepped down, as well as plans of his own, in order to really create a better and more authentic vision for Star Wars. Now, the thing about The Rise of Skywalker is that, yes, this movie really was a film that had a lot of production problems behind the scenes. In fact, a lot of that had to do with the reshoots and the rewrites of the movie and how it also had to do with the fact that Kathleen Kennedy really intervened and initiated two phases of reshoots and rewrites, one in 2018 and one in 2019. Now, looking to the future, of course, a lot of fans are very much excited about the new Star Wars trilogy and very curious about this new Star Wars universe that's going to be modeled after the MCU. However, what Kathleen Kennedy was going to do before Disney CEO Bob Chapek stepped in was honestly rather scary of what was going to happen to the originals, the prequels, and the entire Skywalker saga in general. So, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the Skywalker Saga, they are moving on to their new Star Wars trilogy of films, as well as their new Star Wars universe. Disney is said to have multiple plans in place in order to create a better future for Star Wars, and to reunite the fans around the world. However, it's noted that the new Disney CEO, Bob Chapek, has been making many changes over at Lucasfilm, where many of Kathleen Kennedy's plans have been cancelled, where this included projects for Disney+, Plus and even for the entire Star Wars universe. It's noted that Lucasfilm, of course, Kathleen Kennedy originally had a plan to reboot the Skywalker saga entirely, and that before this was cancelled by Bob Chapek, it's noted that Kennedy was going to reboot the saga in several ways. The first step was to release three animated TV series, most likely in the form of 2D, however that's still currently unknown. Kennedy was going to retell the entire Skywalker saga in this new series, and that this series was going to take over the existing canon by George Lucas. Kennedy wanted to retell all of the events and the characters from the prequels and the originals, mainly in this plan for Disney Plus before it got cancelled, where additionally Kennedy also was going to have Lucasfilm develop a series of books and comics that were going to be quite significant to the new Star Wars universe, that would also redo the canon of the original trilogy by George Lucas that would significantly retcon the originals and the prequels that would make them connect more so with the sequel trilogy of films. It's said that though, however, this entire plan was can cancelled, all thanks to Bob Chapek, as he is now the new Disney CEO. So, the thing about Kathleen Kennedy, this most certainly is yet another example of how she is ultimately blind as to what Star Wars fans really want, or what Star Wars fans even need. And this also tells us the fact that Kathleen Kennedy's leadership is very poor. Now, I'm starting to believe, and I actually talked about this just yesterday, I'm starting to really believe here that Kathleen Kennedy knows exactly what she is doing. It's almost as if she is doing a lot of this on purpose. Thankfully, these plans were put to the wayside and canceled, that this was Kathleen Kennedy's plan to essentially reboot the Skywalker saga, to really retell the events of episodes, you know, 1 through 6, and everything related to Anakin, Luke, Han, Leia, and more, it would have been a mess. I think it would have been a, a big disaster for Star Wars, even more so than The Last Jedi, because her plan was to use this as a way to pretty much take over the existing canon that George Lucas pretty much threw into, of course, back in 1977 with Star Wars A New Hope, and The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and so on and so forth. Kennedy wanted to redo all of that. And that, to me, I think would have been a major mistake. It would have literally destroyed Star Wars right then and there. I think that nobody would have turned back to Disney+. Plus. I think it would have been just a complete mess for Disney and Lucasfilm. So thankfully, the new Disney CEO, Bob Chapek, at least has, you know, more brains than Bob Iger, more brains than Kathleen Kennedy 
to the point where he canceled these plans and put them all the way to the side and is focusing on authentic stories and stories that are really going to satisfy fans around the world. Now, the thing about that, of course, you know, this was going to be on Disney+, Plus, three TV series, animated form, most likely in 2D. However, that's, like I say, unclear. It could have very well been 3D, like Star Wars Rebels, for all we know. But... Kathleen Kennedy, you know, we've seen a lot of hints out there that she is leaving soon and that a lot of things are happening behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm. So anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.